basic welding and cutting arc welding gas welding gas cutting welding is a fabrication process whereby two or more parts are fused together by means of heat pressure or both forming a join as the part school welding is usually used on metals and thermoplastics the parts that are joined are known as a parent material the material added to help form the join is called filler or consumable gas welding one of the most popular welding methods uses a gas flame as a source of heat in the oxy fuel gas welding process heat is produced by burning a combustible gas acetylene mixed with oxygen gas welding is widely used in maintenance and repair work because of the ease in transporting oxygen and fuel cylinders Once you learn the basics of gas welding you will find the oxy fuel process adaptable to brazing cutting and heat treating all types of metals arc welding arc welding is a process that uses an electric arc to join the metals being welded a distinct advantage of arc welding over gas welding is the concentration of heat in gas welding the flame spreads over a large area sometimes causing heat distortion The concentration of heat characteristic of arc welding is an advantage because less heat spread reduces buckling and warping. This heat concentration also increases the depth of penetration and speeds up the welding operation. Therefore, you will find that arc welding is often more practical and economical than gas welding. All arc welding processes have three things in common: a heat source, filler metal, and shielding. The source of heat in arc welding is produced by the arcing of an electrical current between two contacts. The power source is called a welding machine. The welding machine is either electric or motor powered. Different types of arc welding. This process can be categorized into two different types: consumable and non-consumable electrode methods. Metal inert gas welding (MIG) and metal active gas welding (MAG). also known as gas metal arc welding uses a shielding gas to protect the base metals from contamination shielded metal arc welding also known as manual metal arc welding flux shielded arc welding or stick welding is a process where the arc is struck between the metal rod and the workpiece both the rod and workpiece surface melt to form a weld pool flux cord arc welding Created as an alternative to shielded metal arc welding, flux cord arc welding uses a continuously fed consumable flux cord electrode and a constant voltage power supply which provides a constant arc length. This process either uses a shielding gas or just the gas created by the flux to provide protection from contamination. Submerged arc welding SAW A frequently used process with a continuously fed consumable electrode and a blanket of fusible flux which becomes conductive when molten providing a current path between the part and the electrode. The flux also helps prevent spatter and sparks while suppressing fumes and ultraviolet radiation. Electro slag welding ASW A vertical process used to weld thick plates in a single pass. Electro slag welding relies on an electric arc to start before a flux addition extinguishes the arc. Arc stud welding SW similar to flash welding SW joins a nut or fastener usually with a flange with nubs that melt to create the join to another metal piece. Non-consumable electrode methods tungsten inert gas welding TIG Also known as gas tungsten arc welding uses a non-consumable tungsten electrode to create the arc and an inert shielding gas to protect the weld and molten pool against atmospheric contamination. Plasma arc welding PAW similar to tungsten inert gas welding plasma arc welding uses an electric arc between a non-consumable electrode and an anode which are placed within the body of the torch. The electric arc is used to ionize the gas in the torch and create the plasma which is then pushed through a fine bore hole in the anode to reach the base plate. In this way, the plasma is separated from the shielding gas. Gas cutting. The equipment and accessories for oxy gas cutting are the same as for oxy gas welding except that you use a cutting torch or a cutting attachment instead of a welding torch. 
The main difference between the cutting torch and the welding torch is that the cutting torch has an additional tube for high pressure oxygen, along with the cutting tip or nozzle. The tip is provided with a center hole through which a jet of pure oxygen passes. Mixed oxygen and acetylene pass through holes surrounding the center holes for the preheating flames. The number of orifices for oxyacetylene flames ranges from 2 to 6, depending on the purpose for which the tip is used. The cutting torch is controlled by a trigger or lever-operated valve. The cutting torch is furnished with interchangeable tips for cutting steel. Equipment required. Oxy flame cutting equipment in its simplest form requires a gas supply consisting of cylinders of oxygen and acetylene, regulators for both gases, flashback arresters, correct couplings and hoses, a blowpipe, a cutting blowpipe attachment and cutting nozzles. Make sure that the cutting equipment is in good condition. Select a nozzle size appropriate to the thickness of metal to be cut. Ensure that the nozzle face and the cutting and heating orifices are clean. Adjust gas pressures to suit nozzle size and plate thickness. Correct heating flame adjustment. Clean surface of work along the line of the cut. The nozzle must be a correct distance from plate. Cutting blowpipe held at correct angle. Suitable and uniform speed of cutting. Suitably trained operator.